Yes, you're probably wondering if you can begin your tech journey this year. You want to watch this video to the end as I'll be sharing with you why you should potentially begin this journey. And of course, if you have some doubt, by the end of this video, I'll clear your doubt and give you a clear roadmap on how to begin your journey, especially around cloud computing and DevOps this year. Hi, my name is Mike and I'm a DevOps and Cloud professional here in the United Kingdom. And I've been able to transition a lot of people from non-technical backgrounds into technical backgrounds with the help of the available technologies around cloud computing. Cloud computing is one of those fields which people will literally little or no IT background effectively or eventually transition into tech because they gain the necessary skills around certain technologies. Cloud technologies are technologies that are so much in demand and of course you've been wondering if it is relevant for you to study cloud computing this year. One thing you should take note of is the need, the fundamental need behind cloud computing still remains. Companies want to be able to provision resources on a pay-as-you-go model. Companies want to be able to scale their applications at random, of course with increase in demand or with increase in traffic. And equally they want to be able to effectively manage the cost around running infrastructure effectively. So because these needs remain, the companies will always want to have experts who can potentially provision resources on cloud platforms. That's why you constantly see roles around cloud engineering where experts will be required to create these cloud resources. You see roles around DevOps engineering which experts will be needed to ensure that there is a free and smooth communication between developers and engineers. You also see roles around platform engineering to ensure you can effectively provision resources in these cloud platforms and even security related roles. All of these roles are still very much in demand. If you're wondering how to get started, there are some key things which you must understand. Before you start your journey in tech, specifically around cloud computing, you must be able to master a cloud platform. I always tell people, begin by understanding a cloud platform. Almost all jobs related to cloud computing, DevOps, cloud security, they are always centered around cloud platforms. You might want to choose a cloud platform like Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure or IBM Cloud. But of course, my main recommendation is Amazon Web Services because a lot of communities exist around Amazon Web Services, a lot of resources exist around Amazon Web Services, and a lot more. So begin by understanding a cloud platform. Pick one cloud platform, build competence around this cloud platform, understand the foundational services around this cloud platform, and with this knowledge, you can then proceed to understand some other key components, of course, that can build on your understanding around these cloud platforms. All of this might sound, well, too much to do, especially for a startup, but in under six months, you can effectively transition from a non-technical background to gaining the necessary skills that can get you comfortable around these technologies and potentially even interview for jobs around these technologies. As a complete roadmap, you start by understanding a cloud platform, either Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, you go on to understanding how to automatically provision resources with this given cloud platform. That's where you start learning things like infrastructure as code provisioning that will give you technical expertise in automatically provisioning some of the resources that you study on the cloud platform. If you gain knowledge on provisioning resources automatically with tools like Terraform, you also want to be able to dive deep into microservice architectures. A lot of companies are doing a lot of work around microservice architectures and for you to successfully have a good career around microservice architectures, you need to understand the technologies that power these microservice applications. Technologies like Docker, technologies like Kubernetes, technologies that can also seamlessly promote the deployment of these resources on microservice systems. That is where you start learning tools like Helm, Kubernetes, and a lot more. All of these things are just tool sets needed to get roles around cloud computing. And like I said, in just six months, you can effectively gain the skill set that can get you comfortable to interview for some of these positions and potentially land roles. If you're wondering how to get started, you want to comment roadmap in the comment section and I'll give you tips on how to get yourself started in cloud computing this year. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, do it to hit the subscribe button, like this video, share this video, and potentially if you have any other doubt, you want to leave that in the comment section and let's get you started in your cloud computing or tech journey this year.